Tuesday. Nah, Tuesday. Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, you're oh, in July. He's just a little Independence Day, day baby. He's a Puerto Rican up. American. Nah, you know what I mean? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Welcome back, y'all. This is to another episode of Chocolate Sundays Live. I'm your host, Tyler from Texas. I'm Joyce Sivy. We are over here with Mr. Edgar from the Bronx. Edgar from the Bronx. He said from Texas. Yeah, Edgar man. Rivera. Edgar Rivera, man. Yeah. Happy to be here, man. You guys are blowing <laughs> up, man. Uh, this, is, this is. We nice. just want to say. Up, man. How'd that show go? You blew it up. Nah, that was oh. fun. That was fun, man. <laughs> oh. I didn't want to get off. Thank you. He yeah. cut you off. Yeah, I did. He's, He's, okay. Okay. He's from Texas. I let him. Yeah. No, no yeah. man. I'm, I'm sorry about that. I'm really easy about it. This is like a couple. I'm like, this. What am I doing? Here. You and that, it's you a that, relationship that I need wheel. to help you guys. Look, when you work, you guys need to know like how to this. communicate. Look at each other. I'm ladies first. Happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. Oh, I know it's coming up this oh, Tuesday. Hey. Fourth of July, baby. Independence, baby. Celebrating my birthday in LA, yes. yo. The first one out here, yo. I don't yeah. even know. Do I don't even know what's happening out here, yo. What do you usually celebrate? In New York. New York. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's where I'm from, yo. So I'm always out there for my birthday. This will be the first one out here, man. Yeah. So you got anything planned for? Take you out? I think so. Oh, we're I think we're asking. <laughs> yeah. I think so. Man. All right. Now nah, I'm gonna hit this dude up. And we're definitely gonna do something. We are gonna find some. Yep. How much money? We got five dollars. Five dollars. We can have a good time. We got no money. No money. It's my careful. birthday. Yeah, 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 yeah true. true. It's your I birthday. You, end, that you guys are gonna end up in, in uh, Tijuana messing with him, huh? Oh, hell no. Yeah. I heard about he that. He said five dollars. <laughs> ain't $5. no five dollar turn up in L.A. I'm sorry. Girl, it's my birthday. All I got is five dollars. You know what is a five dollar turn up when you're on a boat? I do cruises and I do I go on a boat and then they go, you go to you got the crew bar. Yeah. And that's the shit. I'm I'm a baller, that motherfucker. Yeah. You wanna drink, you wanna drink, you wanna drink, you wanna drink, everybody gets a drink and it's like seven dollars. <laughs> At the end, I'm like, But oh, he only has five. Man. So. And then everybody showing you love. Land, on land, I'm cheap like I'm <laughs> on land, you don't get nothing out of me, yo. <laughs> you wanna what? Is that free? <laughs> so Fourth of July is coming up. It's also your birthday. What kind of plans do you have? I don't know, man. I actually, I, I don't know. I'm just going with the flow, see what happens, you know? I don't, what, what's what's happening, man? What happens out here? Just about fireworks, all that bullshit. It's fireworks, barbecue. I hate my birthday, honestly. I hate it. Are y'all. you kidding yeah, me? I fucking hate my birthday. I got to share that shit with America. Like, what the, like how can you compete with that <laughs> American shit? American birthday. Everybody Edgar's. celebrates my birthday, man. I can't plan nothing. I'm right. like, you, you want to have a barbecue? You know, I'm having a barbecue already. Uh, I'm alone. <laughs> I'm going to be alone as shit on my birthday on Snapchat, like... Birthday boy. Birthday bash. Everybody's like, <laughs> Independence Day. Fireworks going off. Any special ladies you're going to kiss under the fireworks? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> don't look over here. <laughs> got to keep it mysterious. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, maybe. <laughs> it it might. I looked at Joy. I was like, might, hey, might, might get it. It might not. Maybe we're both jet lag. We're both jet lag. We can share this jet lag kiss together, girl. Stop it. I'm sorry. Next, okay. on the car. <laughs> I love this. Look at this. Look at these cue cards. You guys are blown. Going up, I swear. Uh, Your birthday, you got some big milestones coming this way. By the time you know you hit the next pinnacle, what what do you want to have accomplished? Man. As far as comedy go in your comedy career, as far as you know, I'm working on something out here while I'm here. That's the reason I'm out here. Okay, yeah. it's, it's different. You know, being first. from New York and, and comedy out here is way different than it is out there. But I'm focused on a big prize. Well, I, the reason I'm here, so I'm working on this project here. And I plan to, you know, I would love to stay, man. I really don't want to go back. I'm tired of the, I'm tired of the winter, man. I'm tired of the <laughs> snow. I'm tired of the cold, but man. Hey, don't you get four seasons out there? Because you know, LA you gets do. too hot and hotter. This Jeez. shit gets hot, hot, <laughs> and and been rain. This year we got cool. a lot of rain. Yeah, right? yeah. actually yeah. had a lot of forecasts this year. Yeah. I mean, forecasts. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of forecasts the whole yeah, year. That, that's what you say in Israel. <laughs> forecast. Yeah, a lot of forecasts. Yeah, the forecast, yeah, the forecast yeah. today was crazy. Yes. All right. <laughs> so, so you're working on big projects. You got anything that you can tell us about you got coming for 2017? Oh, man. I don't know. 2017, yeah. man. It's a 40, 41, yo. Yeah? 41. I'm turning to 41. I still don't know what I want to be when I grow up, yo. <laughs> hey. shit, yo. It's, it's real yeah, life, man. Yeah, I, like, I don't, still don't want to be. Nah, man, I'm working on a few things, man. I want to work on... Uh, on a one man show. Okay. So I'm working on that, you know, I'm trying to go real deep, real deep. Comedy to me is it's it's not about jokes. People go, "Oh, tell me a joke." I, I don't have jokes. I don't have jokes. I, comedy to me is personal. It's for what I what I feel. Real deep down soul truth. And exactly. Yeah. I, I feel the the deeper you go, the more people could relate with you. Right. Right. Because right, 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 even right. if you've never been there, you know somebody who's been there, so it, it, you know, so I got some I'm cooking up some relationship shit that when I open up with this, it's gonna go. It's gonna get a lot of people mad, but oh, I mean. But you would know? you say? Would you say that would be a, a reward for you? Like more people feel it versus laugh at it? Does that make sense? To me, to me, it's not about the. 
I mean, everybody wants to be laughter. You know, yeah. every, every comedian is like, I want to be the funniest one to be the laughter. To me, it's not about all about the laughter. To me, what means more is at the end of the night, they'll come up to me and they'll tell me something that I said. Yeah. Because you want to be, I want to be memorable. Right, 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 right. Anybody can make you laugh. Anybody will go on stage and act a clown and you laugh, you laugh, and then at the end of the night, ask them what they said, and people will be like, yeah, no. but when somebody comes up to me after a show and they'll say super son and they'll say take him marijuana then that shit means more than me because that means that they listen you know they yeah, actually yeah. listen uh, to what I had to say so it's not all about because ah, then we don't have no time to talk man true. you know what I'm true. saying I like true. to control that I like to I say okay you're not now you're listening yeah. and now you're gonna laugh and here's the right. point and now you're gonna yeah. listen again and now you're gonna and it's like it's it's I'm, I'm driving that if shit. If you had yo. any advice to give any of the comedians that you've worked with or, or, you know, just some of the young kids that are watching, what would that advice be? Get on on stage as much as you can, yo. Yeah? As much as you can. Get on stage as much as you can. I always tell people this, man. I, I tell people, um, host. Okay. Find yourself something. Find okay. yourself a room. Host something. Because hosting, hosting makes a beast out of you. Yeah. You know, okay. it, it just takes you out of that element, you know, where you could just... Feel free on stage to do whatever. Did you, you ever want. get to host? A lot. Where? Where a were you lot. at? In New York. Cause I'm not from here. So I'm yeah. gonna be here for a few months, you know. So out here, I'm nobody, you know, with this cool shirt that I got for my birthday. Huh. But uh, nice let her know about your birthday shirt, <laughs> Jesus. Let her know about your birthday. But uh, in, in New York, I host a lot. Anything, any, and you know, we still get a lot of love when you hit, go back home. Oh yeah, I just got back. I got back. I was out there three weeks. A couple of weeks ago, man, and, you know, every night, every night, yeah, pop, 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 one after the other. In New York, you could hit three shows a night. Yeah, you know, you go from the Bronx to the Manhattan, back to Brooklyn, and, and you hit that urban scene of the comedy. So, how do you stay fresh? How do you keep everything coming in? How does that energy still, you know, every single night, three shows, boom, boom, challenge, boom? You know, you challenge yourself. You um, you you know, we all have a set. Right. You know, we all have a set. It, even when I do this, you know, like you know, sometimes you have the people that come back. And then you, you're standing up there, and if I saw that they were in the last show, I yeah. feel a certain type of way, and I shouldn't. Right. I shouldn't, because I should always cater to the people who've never seen me. Yeah. But when I see somebody in the front that just saw me, and I'm like, ah. It's kind of nerve-wracking. Not nerve-wracking. Challenging. I just feel like, ah, I don't want them to hear the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. it's good, though, because you could challenge yourself, and you'll be like, you know, like, let me get off this set. Yeah. You know? Every, 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 every time I get up, I never... I never know how I'm going to open. Mm-hmm. I know what I could say. I know what I have to, you know, in the arsenal, but I don't know exactly how it's going to go. Come out. Right. You know, I mean, I'll prepare myself if it's, a, if it's a big audition, if it's a big show, something big that, you know, you I'll, I'll get on book and I'll, I'll do that shit like I'm supposed to be. But for stuff like this, then I don't know what I'm going to do till I hit the stage. You know, I always tell, I always say this, the first word you say when you hit that stage determines how the rest of your night is going to go. So what did you <laughs> say crazy. here tonight? I say, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> we'll play it back. Hey, We're gonna take a quick break. Challenging quick. himself. We're gonna challenge you when we come back yeah. from this break. We'll see you in a second. See yeah. you in a moment. Hey, what's up, party people? This is comedian Ron G. What up? Snake Jackson. This is comedian Jason Andor. What's, what's up, up everybody? It's your boy Ocean Glapion. This is Aaron Edwards Hall. This is your boy Gary G. Thane Johnson. And let me tell you this right now. You need to get down to chocolate, chocolate Sundays. Sundays. Where, Where you at? at? Are you down here? Yo, come to Chocolate Sunday. Get your ass up out the house and come down to Chocolate Sunday. The new times is 7 and 9 p.m. Chocolate Sundays. Pookie Chocolate Sunday. The smallest cat that do comedy, the smallest cat that promote comedy, the smallest producer stock market cat, that's Pookie. He runs Chocolate Sundays. And if you ain't here, if you ain't never came, get your life together. This is Goddamn Chocolate Sundays. It's one of the hottest shows in the land. You are missing out. Get here now. Always amazing crowds, amazing comedians. You need to be here. Chocolate Sundays, Laugh Factory on Sunset, 7 and 9 p.m. See you guys here. Peace. That's it. All right, welcome back, y'all. I'm Tyler from Texas. I'm Joy Simley. We are back here with Mr. Edgar Rivera, the birthday boy. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Now it's time. Yeah! I wish, I wish huh. we had streamers. I really would like some streamers. We're going to clean it up. Uh, you. Hmm. Anyways. Huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> Thought so. Uh, now it's time to have a little fun, all right? We like to call this the fun section, or nice. as we like to say, would you rather, all right? So we're going to ask some off-the-wall crazy questions, and you got to pick one. Ain't no maybe, ain't no I don't like that, ain't no change It's question. one or the other, and you let us know why. You got to pick, all right? All right. Okay, cool. It's I'm going to let ladies go first. Shit. It's gonna One be, it's gonna or the other, crazy. let us know why. You ready for this? Go ahead, Miss Joy. Yeah. Would you rather be a chronic farter or always pee on yourself publicly? 
be a chronic Carter. Carter. Oh, I'm sorry. Like, Jay Z. I was like, what is she talking a about? I don't Wayne even know. Jay Z. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A chronic father or pee in public? Yeah, yep. all the time. Constantly peeing on, on yourself. yourself. Fuck that. I'd rather be a, car, a chronic farter. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Yeah. What that smell is? That's me, girl. Yeah, At least I'm dry. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm like, pop! I'm like, I do that shit. My girl, I'm, now I got a dog, and I fucking blame the dog for everything. You know? <laughs> Every time I fart, I blame the dog. And he looks at me like, that's not me, bro. I'm like, so I would be a chronic farter. I'm okay. already a chronic farter. That's oh. just me. You, 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 I mean, well, you I know. looked at her like, how do you know? Well, who told you this? <laughs> Chocolate Sunday. Did you smell it? Did Edgar you smell Revere it? is a chronic farter. I am. I All right, I got one. I got one. Got? Would you rather Okay, would you rather have vaginas for ears or penis for fingers? <laughs> uh, who comes up with these? Huh? <laughs> we got who somebody in the lab. We got somebody yeah. in the lab. Uh, She's like, I don't write. This I don't know. That's comedy. like a, that, that one is like, uh, which one are you going yeah, for? I don't know, man. I think I want penis who for fingers, yo. Fuck <laughs> like that. Can you imagine how many girls you could please? You'd be like, ah! <laughs> you and your whole crew, come here. <laughs> All of you. Come here. All of you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then I can be that. Woman. Poor well, woman. I mean, a poor person who came up with these questions. Then go ahead, give me another one. Okay. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, would you rather lick a sweaty man's armpit or eat rotten toenails? <laughs> Yeah, I know my stomach hurts just saying that, bro. My stomach hurts just saying it. <laughs> yeah, like, like really, man? Like, I will eat toenails like a motherfucker with hot sauce. I will no way in hell I'm licking another Fork, man's armpit. knife, and a bitch. Fuck that. Kill me. Kill me with the toenails. Fuck that. I would never, ever lick a man. Hot sauce, hot sauce. I would touch it with my penis fingers, though. Let me tell you, I would push him away, like, get away from me. Get away from me. All right, so last one I got for you. Would you rather bomb horribly on stage or be kicked off and be kicked off or have an audience member take over your set? Have a heckler come at you. So would you rather bomb off. horribly or have somebody take over your set? It's kind of like one of the same, honestly. I know. Right? Which one are you I choosing? Don't I don't know. Oh, shit. What you yeah. want? We got two evils. There's only one that's worse. Either way, as a comedian, you're gonna be heartbroken. You true, know what I mean? Like, damn, I suck either way. Yeah. <laughs> so I, th I think I'd rather have bomb. I'd rather bomb than have somebody bomb? take over my set. That's worse, man. Fuck yeah. that. I'd rather, I'd rather people be like, Bendito, look at him, and I'll go <laughs> by myself. <laughs> I bomb oh, big God. time, yo. I'm fucking on, on, on public, oh, on Sábado Gigante. You know what that is? Mm -mm, you never heard that shit? Like Let me educate Rican. Chocolate Sundays <laughs> and the cameraman, <laughs> who's the only other Latino in this shit. He's back there like, yeah, he's, Sábado he's Gigante. Asian. He's actually I'm not. Just he's, <laughs> not he's not. He's not. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm look at him, bro. <laughs> he looked at her like. <laughs> <laughs> I went on Sábado Gigante, which is like the, the the biggest Latino TV show for 50 years. This guy was on Univision. Yeah. So Don Francisco. And he had like a like an entertainment show and he had all these people, right? So they contacted me like a few times to do the show. But the lady wanted me to submit 30 jokes. And I'm like, I don't do jokes like that. I don't have jokes. I'm a com I do stand-up. It's different. I have stories. And she's yeah. like, nah. So I turned them on like four times. She calls me once and she said, I got the perfect segment for you to introduce stand-up in Spanish because I do it in Spanish as well. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I fell for it, man. And I went and I told everybody I'm doing Sábado Gigante. I grew up on Sábado Gigante. Every Saturday, my parents were glued to this fucking TV watching this old man. And um, I told everyone. Ooh, I told everyone. Everyone Ooh. in Puerto Rico. Everyone was there. It was live. It was yeah. fucking live, yeah. bro. You're gassing it. And I went and I did a segment and I didn't even know it was this segment. They have a little fucking midget with a trumpet and it's like a gong show. I didn't know. I thought they were going to give me a minute. I thought I had a minute because I went up and all I had to say was the worst thing in the world is calling out sick when you're faking it. Beep, 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 beep. And they threw me the fuck out, yo. Wow. They threw me into like a bathroom on fucking TV, yo. Everybody started texting me. My mother banned them from the house. Nobody watching him. <laughs> and then last year they got they canceled hey, him because of me. Though. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck Salado Gigante, yo. That shit broke my heart. I went back to the hotel room. I almost cried. Why oh, did you man. do it? Why? Why? How could you? You know, you get a, you get some type of role on the table. That's a question. You know, some people, a lot of people, get tricked into these positions, right? Mm -hmm. True. Why would you carry out that? Proposition. I was, already, uh, I was already there. You know, I, it was they, they pulled Why there. I was already there. I was in Miami. I was in Miami. I was already there. He's and like, I, I got it, a free ticket to as Miami. A, as I a comic, though, as a comic, we challenge ourselves. You'd be right. like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this shit happen. But I thought honestly, and they, that's how they tricked me. They, I thought I had a minute. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, it's hard enough to 
do comedy in one minute in and one to minute. engage yeah. everybody, especially after I went up after a pole dancer. Winters. There was a pole dancer before yeah. me. Oh, Jesus. And then they put me up there. Cheeks or jokes. And, yo, Cheeks and, and then jokes. it was live, so I couldn't get off. Like, if I could have improvised, which I could have, because I could have started snapping on him and yeah. the old man and the crowd in this situation, but it's live. They made me rehearse this fucking minute for, like, like two days, you know? I had to get the minute down of... packed to, like, that minute, minute, minute. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting a minute. And yo, 13 seconds in, yo. They threw me in this bathroom and I didn't know how to come out the other side. I'm like, oh my God. And my phone is blowing up. Everybody's oh, like, they man. don't know shit. Oh they my don't know God. comedy. I went Do to you my have room. a recording of this? Yes. Trust we me. We will have this next out. time it's Edgar 13 is on. Seconds, yo, it's next time quick. Edgar is on, we're actually going to have this clip. But before yeah, you get out, you need my to sister, send that. My sister has it. She I'm recorded it. Up. She sent it to me every year I'm on the up. date. She's what day fine. is that? I don't even know. Don't even. I don't oh, okay. want to talk about it. Right. Right. I don't know why <laughs> I even Edgar, told you. Could you so. plug us in with all your social medias and stuff where we can find Edgar, you? Edgar the comedian. Edgar D A. That's how you say it. How you say it? Edgar, Edgar the comedian. Edgar the comedian. The the the. Are we saying? Don't don't say it like that. That's only between me and Joy. Oh okay yeah yeah. Me and Joy. That's the Joy. You say Edgar the. Or like my mother says, Edgar the comedian. Da da the comedian. Edgar D A comedian. Instagram and Twitter. Facebook, um, Edgar Rivera Comedy, yo. Just follow me, yo. Google me. Huh. I will come up, Google yo. set. That 13 seconds. And follow me, yo. Follow me. Everyone follow me. Follow. Everyone who follows, follows Joey and what's... Tyler. Tyler from, from Texas. Texas. Follow me, yo. And, and then the girl in the back who comes up with all the penis and, and <laughs> vagina ear questions, yo. <laughs> Chocolate Sunday, Domingo de Chocolate. All right, then. That's, That's like been another it. episode of Chocolate Sundays Live. I'm Tyler from Texas. <laughs> we are out. <laughs>